Welcome to our DIY bathroom part 3. This is the final video in our DIY bathroom series. And in this one we will be making the accessories and finishing touches. So the first few things I'm going to be starting with is this floor, which was just cardboard, so I took some paper and drew a one inch grid for tiles. And then this green wall, which was just plain cardboard too, so I covered that with paper. And then the last thing was inside the shower, the knob for the faucet, and I just made that with black crack foam. So for the shelf over the toilet, I didn't really want it hanging on the wall, so I'm going to have the type that stands on itself over the toilet. And so I cut all the pieces out of cardboard, and the two vertical panels that are next to the toilet are 17 and a half inches by three inches wide, and then the top is seven inches long by three inches wide, and then the two support pieces that will go on the back, because I don't want it all wobbly, are seven inches long and an inch and a half wide, and then the three shelves on the side are three by three inches, and then you're gonna want eight identical little cardboard triangles. So now I'm just gonna cover it all in paper. So here is the shelf, and when I finished covering all the pieces with paper, I noticed that the paper was really thin and you could see the brownness of the cardboard underneath, and one of the shelves, you could see like a letter underneath, so I took markers and I drew the same pattern that is on the shower curtain on it, and that jazzed it up, then I glued it all together. And so I had to do a bit of reconfiguring because the toilet was more to closer to the shower curtain and the toilet paper dispenser um, was right here on the wall and the trash can was under it. But then if I had this over the toilet, which uh, was closer to the shower, then the shelves would be in the shower and I didn't want that, so I had to move the things around. And I like it better now. And so now it's time to make things to go on. So on the top shelf we have some washcloths from our bathroom that we don't really use and so they can serve as towels for them. And then over here on the top side shelf we have a tissue box and I made this from paperboard and each side is one inch by one inch and then I cut some paper to um, be over it and then I drew some diagrams on it and then this is a closed box and then also on the shelf we have some soap and it is wrapped and it is out of craft foam and we have an unwrapped one for the sink and then we cut the bottom off a paper Dixie cup for the soap dish and then on the next shelf down we have some period necessities and you can check out American Girl Ideas' channel for those to see those crafted and then on the bottom shelf we have some hand sanitizer which I made from a craft foam tube and then I kind of made an oval out of it and then I cut a uh, craft foam to fit the top glued it on took a toothpick and poked a hole in the center of the top and then cut a strip of white craft foam and glued it on to the toothpick and then we also have a open Kleenex on this shelf and so for the tissues um, I cut a, a human sized tissue in two inch squares and you should get 16 from the average size tissue and I put two in here and then you can say I saved the 14 other ones for other tissue boxes and then last but very not leastly we have this lotion which I 
used a paper tube and then I cut a craft foam bottom and glued it on and then drew the designs. In the shower, for the shampoo and conditioner, we took a paper tube and we decorated it. And as with the lotion, we took a craft foam circle and glued it on the bottom. And we modeled these after our shampoo and conditioner. And then for the bar soap, we took um, the same method as the hand soap, only bigger and a different color. And then for the washcloth, we took a little rag from the American Girl Salon Caddy, and you don't have to use a rag from American Girl. We did though, and you can also just use a um, small piece of cloth. And then for the hook, we cut off a piece of hanger and taped it on the wall. So in the cabinet, we have some American Girl Ideas makeup and deodorant, and then Licorice made this very, very, very cute little perfume for us using a straw, and she closed up one end, and then on the other end, she rounded it with hot glue, and then decorated it with washi tape, and then for the lid, she took a strip of paper, about three four seven inch wide, and then she wrapped it around the straw, and made sure it fit, then closed up one end with glue, and then painted it. And then on the next shelf down, we have some toothbrushes. And I made these out of craft foam. And I took a strip that was two and a half inches long by two tenths of an inch wide. And then I cut a bit of detail here for the handle. And then for the bristles, I took a piece of white craft foam that was about a half an inch long by two tenths of an inch wide and glued it on. And then I monogrammed them. And for the holder, I took a bunch of paper tubes and I made them by taking a piece of cardstock, one and a half inch long by one inch wide, and then glued them all together and glued on a piece of cardstock on the bottom. And then for toothpaste, we have a straw, and um, I closed up one end with tape and then close up the other end with hot glue. And we decided that we wanted the lotion here instead of on the shelf over the toilet. And then we also have a little bottle of nail polish. So in the vanity drawer, we have a lot of hair stuff. I have a brush, a comb, a squirt bottle, some hair ties and a little clip and a bobby pin. So in the vanity cabinet under the drawer we have some plain white washcloths which will serve as some extra towels. We have a straightening iron and a blow dryer and some extra toilet paper. And for a rug or bath mat, I took three pieces of yarn about three feet long and then I braided them and then on either a piece of felt or plastic or I used paper, you hot glue it on in a circle or any which way you like and then when you reach the end just hot glue the uh, tail end of the yarn underneath. And that concludes our third and final part of our DIY bathroom. And make sure to go check out American Girl Ideas' channel to see more amazing American Girl crafts and to see American Girl's Julie's Bathroom set reviewed and also check out AG Overseas Fans channel to see that set reviewed as well. And tune in next Tuesday to see another wonderful video.
Bye.